love, because this looks good. Oh, Director good. Tony Chenault and actors Anthony Dapper Samuels and Sloan Morgan. All Philly guys, right? Yes. Good, morning. <laughs> good, morning. Yes. Good, morning. good morning. Good morning. So let's let's tell people like where specifically you're from. Where'd you go to school? Okay, my name is Tony Chenault. Um, what, I'm from our only section of Philadelphia, and uh, I went to New Madrid High School and I graduated from Villanova. Okay. My name is D. Farn Sloan. I'm from West Philadelphia. I grew up on 59th and Master. I went to Massey Charter Shoemaker Campus High School. Mm. My name's Anthony Dapper Samuels. I'm from North Philadelphia. I went to Aventon Friends for high school and I graduated from Temple U. Okay, and you mentioned you graduated from Villanova and that's yes. where your dream and your work to be a filmmaker started because you were there for basketball. Yes, absolutely, yeah. So during there, I was there for <laughs> basketball. Um, during my time there, um, I took a screenwriting class and that's when my passion for film just grew. And this, at this film, that premieres tonight, it actually started off as a web series, and 10 years later, it, trans it transitioned to being a feature film. Can we just talk about old head? Yes. That, that, like, that's taking me back. That yeah. is like a Philly term. Mm -hmm. How do you define, for those who haven't heard old head, how do you define the I, for, for me, For me personally, I think an old head just um, someone who passes down wisdom to the younger generation and steer a younger person on a path of success. Um, in making this film, we wanted to you know, create something with people from Philadelphia, but all over the world, understand the importance of an old head and how pivotal it can be in a young person's life. Because it's not just a term. I mean, there's a vital message behind mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. what this film... That's what this film is uh, exemplified, like showing that dynamic between an older person and a younger person and what that relationship looks like. And how was it, being the fact that it's true to Philly, but everyone can relate to something like this, how was it shooting in Philly and dealing with an all-Philly cast and crew? <laughs> what was that experience like? It was, it was a good experience. It shows, like... The reality of what we going on a regular basis yeah. with the younger youth and like the old heads and just like the piggyback off what he said like get guidance on who you can really call your old head and do you think that that's because of course we talk about you know gun violence and all what's going on right now and how a lot of it is our young people who are involved um do you think that that's the key like maybe they need to be listening more to their old heads yeah it's a major key i believe that's a major key mm -hmm. was this your first acting role no, actually, I played in uh, Bel Air. Bel Air. Yeah, Bel Air. Reboot. Which also is Philly ties. Yeah, Philly ties, yeah. <laughs> what was yeah. that like? It was an amazing experience, you know, just coming from, like, the rapping world, like, just being on set. Like, that was, like, a great experience for me. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. How's that transition like, coming from the rapping world, going to taking direction and mm -hmm. being on camera? Did it come natural? Uh, it, it came natural just because we're so used to being on camera. I, 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 I'm speaking for myself, for sure, <laughs> but... Uh, just used to being on camera, shooting music videos, and then, you know, I did some commercial work as well. And, um, but this is my first, like, feature film where I have a lead role, so um, it came pretty natural, though. Yeah. What do you hope people watching the film will take away? Because we mentioned it started as a web series, now feature film. Yeah, we was having a conversation about that yesterday, and um, we were just talking about how there's just not, like, an extreme amount of violence or an extreme amount of, like, um, like just, like, sexual exposure in the, in the uh, film and just showing that there's actual, like, real messages. Like, we talk about single mothers, talk about mothers that are losing their children, talk about gentrification, talk about, um, like, schools shutting down and whatnot. So the fact that there's just more to film in general, in Philadelphia, and urban film in general, besides just the normal violence and everything else that comes with it, but there's um, just more to life besides just what we see on the, on the surface. Such mm -hmm. a powerful message. Yeah. It certainly is, and especially one that hits home for you, because you've also been affected by gun violence. Yes, yeah. In 2012, my brother um, passed away from the, from gun violence, and that was one of the reasons I, I got in the film, because before he passed away, he had aspirations of being a filmmaker. So part of it is just me living out his legacy and with creating Mike J Films. Um, and honor my brother. What do you think he would say now? You've got a big premiere tonight. Uh, this is coming to fruition. I think he'd be happy. Um, I, I think he'd be happy because one, when you look about, when you look at Philadelphia, there's not too many like authentic films that's portrayed or shot in Philadelphia that people in Philadelphia could be proud of. And he was all about Philly. Eagles fan, Sixers fan. No, he wasn't a Sixers fan, but he was a diehard <laughs> Eagles fan. <laughs> well, I know you're excited for people to see your work. How can they see it? Um, it's gonna. It, it comes out on the streaming platform on um, Apex July 28th. Uh, the website is WatchApex.com, and they can actually download the app if they have an iPhone or Android. Just type in Apex, and it comes out July 28th next Friday. All right. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. And have a great premiere tonight. Yes.